Welcome back to MacBridge Studio. Mark's going to show us a something called Glifter with regard to his 3D text plugin. So he's going to glift your spirits. So, sorry. <laughs> did you just think of that? <laughs> yeah, I just did. <laughs> yeah, this, this is awesome. So we've, yeah. we've done some episodes about how you can use symbols as um, text for making 3D. Like that one in, with a wrench. Yeah, in, the in trash motion. Can. Right. In, so cool. In, in motion or Final so Cut. So cool. Yeah, so basically yeah. you can use fonts that are symbol fonts. Right. And there's a bunch of built-in ones like Webdings and Wingdings, and there's a bunch you can download. But I'm going to show you things called Glifter, because this thing is amazing. So uh, let's, take, let's take a look at it right now. So you go to glifter.com, G-L-Y-P-H-T-E-R, and this is a font building, a web-based font building application. And what's so cool about it by default, it includes a bunch of different fonts on the side by here that you can basically pick and choose from these different collections of fonts. I'll just flip through them here to build your own custom symbol font. Yep. Okay, by selecting from them. Like, so, oh, I really like this plus symbol. I'll make that the A. And then uh, I'll go to this set of fonts here. This is a different set of fonts. And by the way, you can download any of these font collections. I'll switch to Fontbook to show you. Like, uh, this is Linicon. So I've installed a lot of these fonts we're looking at in Glifter as fonts that I can use directly just by you know, selecting one to copy it and paste it into, into Motion or Final Cut. But here, I'm able to select, build my own custom collection. I'll That's put the great. Apple thing in there. And I don't know, there's seven or eight of these. Oh, I like the heart. And I can go around here. Do you have Biohazard? Sorry. And collect and build. <laughs> Uh, biohazard. Yeah, there's there's a bunch I'm of sure really there, I'm sure there are. cool ones here. So so that's one thing, but it goes further than that because any artwork you have logos uh, that were created with vector program. This will convert it into a font. Yeah, yeah. All it needs to be is in the SVG, which is a scalable vector uh, graphic format. Format. So you can export to SVG from Illustrator, other vector yep, applications. You sure can. So for example. Um, I went, there's a lot of free SVGs on the web. So I went to the web and I found these different uh, gear SVGs. And actually they, they were all in a single um, document. So I just saved them out as separate SVG files, all these different little gears. You can right. see I'm just pressing the space R. So I can take these and drag them onto here uh, to create um, a font out of my own images, either ones I drew or downloaded. These can be logos. Um, I'll just drag them all in here. So these can be you know, company logos, uh, really anything that you want. The thing that you have to be a little careful about, I'm not dragging the Ripple logo in here because um, the Ripple logo has some open paths yes. and it doesn't like that. So that's why in our tutorial, in our Motion 3D title tutorial, I use a, an application called Type Tool that right. you can do you a little bit more. The paths. Yeah, but if you have good paths, you can just drop SVG files on here. Do you have good paths? Yeah, good paths. <laughs> you gotta have good paths. Yeah, don't you have any open paths? <laughs> right. So then you just click this here font, and you don't even need to sign in. You can just download and download the font. Once you do that, you double click to install the font, uh, which I've already done. So in fact, if I go here, I made a font called Gears, and uh, there it is, Gears, and I have all these gears. Wow. So I can either um, load that font up and type A, B, C, D for those, or it's easier just to double click whichever one I'm interested in or highlight it and copy paste it into motion. So um, here's what's so cool about this. So I, I got a bunch of gears. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Those are the, the 3D gears? Yeah. Are... <laughs> so, these, those look great. so these gears are, wow. um, these were uh, free, you know, free for commercial use gears uh, on the internet that I downloaded. And I only use one kind here. The little bit of trickiness is you need to move the anchor point to the center of the gear because there are there are glyphs. Right. The anchor point is not centered by default, so you need a little bit of setup. But I've done previous um, MacBreak Studios about animating gears, but they were uh, 2D gears. Sure. Uh, here we have full. Check these out. Not only the 3D gears, they you know they, because they're text, they have the three title um, environment. Right, so you can see a reflected environment. Sure. You can put any kind of um, material on them you want, and they are fully, <laughs> fully animated. So, and what I did here is That's I used amazing a, a rate behavior. You could use a link behavior, <laughs> right. but I used a rate behavior to put these together. So now I have fully 3D gears that are animated with reflections, with shadows, yes, with environment maps. Yes, that looks... It gives you a sense of what's possible with, <laughs> with a, a right. free, Glifter is free, with free uh, resources, and a $50 application. I mean, even if you don't use Final Cut Pro at all, you know, Motion is a $50 application that allows you to do 
completely sophisticated animation, and never mind the keyer, and never mind the compositing, never mind the title animation. I mean, look what you can do. I just I'm, blows my mind. You were speechless before, yeah. and now I'm speechless. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. It's pretty cool, I have it, to it's say. It's great. So that's great. So um, my head's spinning with ideas already. Great. Okay. So thank you, Mark, for showing us this wonderful tip. Hope, hopefully you got a lot out of that, and I uh, expect to see all kinds of animated gears, light bulbs, you know, toilets, whatever. <laughs> You know, it's going to pop up on the web. Um, so thank you for watching Mac Break. Check out Mark's uh, plugins, our Ripple 3D toolkit. that include four sets of amazing 3D title plugins. Check out his training on motion, which he goes into a lot of this a lot stuff, of stuff yeah. a lot of this stuff here. Um, we're, we're going to continue to talk about 3D because we, we think it's awesome. We're just going to just keep talking about it till we're sick of it. Or till you're sick of it. But we don't think you'll be sick of it because it's pretty awesome. So thanks for another for watching another edition of MacBreak Studio. We'll see you next time.